So this lesson continues our work in Unit uh, 5, 6 here on proportional reasoning. And what we're going to look at uh, in this lesson is some material out of 6B, box 6B here on percents, fractions, and decimals. And what you want to be able to do by the end of this is to be able to work with percents, solve problems involving percents, and convert between uh, percents, decimals, and fractions, and, and back again. So let's just take a look at what we mean by a percent first of all. A percent is a ratio that compares a number to 100. Okay, so anytime you see something like 20%, let's say, what that means is something out of 100. Okay. And there are three big ways that we can write uh, percents. We can write them with the percent symbol. So using our example of 20%, we can write this as 20%. We can also write these things as a decimal. So if we have a percent, 20%, and we want to change it into a decimal, we just take the number we have there for our percent, and we divide it by 100, because the out of 100 means divide by 100. So if we take 20, divide it by 100, we get 0 0.20. So that would be the fraction 20% as a decimal. And we can also write it as a fraction. And as a fraction, because this 20% here means 20 out of 100, we can just write it as 20 over 100. And of course, we can put this fraction down into lowest terms. So this might be reduced down to 1 over 5. Okay. Now we could also, um, in some cases, we might be given the, the decimal first. So they might give us 0 0.5. 0 0.05 as the decimal, and they want us to write this as uh, a percent with a percent symbol and as a fraction. So to go from a decimal to the percent, well, if we divided to go from the percent to the decimal, if we're going the opposite way, we want to multiply by 100. So 0 0.05 times 100 would give us 5%. And then we can work out what our fraction is. A fraction is just going to be 5 over 100. Or, to put this in lowest terms, 1 over 20. So maybe we were, maybe we might be given the fraction first. We might be given 65 over 100. Okay. Um, we can easily just do that division, just divide that, take 65, divide by 100, and we get 0 0.65 for our decimal. And then we can change that into our percent, 65 percent. Now, the two main types of questions you'll be asked to answer working with percents are shown here in example one and example two. The first one is when you're asked to find some percent of a number. So in this case, you're asked to find 20 percent of 300. The way you want to do this is take your, take your percent first and turn that into a decimal. So we divide our 20 by 100 and we get 0 0.20. The of in this case means that we want to multiply. So we're going to do 0 0.20 times whatever this number is. So 0 0.20 times 100, punch that into our calculator and we get 60. So 20% of 300 is 60. The other kind of question we're given is, what percent is 27 out of 35? Well, the way we can do this is we can take our two numbers and we can write them as a fraction. We can write this as 27 out of 35. Kind of like a test mark here. The test was out of 35, you scored 27. You got 27 out of 35. Then we can just do that division. This means 27 divided by 35. So when we do that, we get 0 0.77. And then we can turn our decimal into a percent simply by multiplying by 100, like we did in the, uh, in the questions up above. So that would give us 77%. The other big application uh, that, that you're going to be asked to, to do here is you're, you'll be given the price of something, the, a situation where you're buying something. And you'll be asked, it'll, it'll be discounted by some amount, and you have to add tax onto it. 
and you'll be asked to find the final sales price. So here's our example. An MP3 player that regularly sells for $180, regularly, is on sale for 25% off. We want to determine its price. Step one, we want to determine what the discount is, or how much is being taken off the price. Now we know that the amount of the discount is 25% of 180. So we want to work out what that is. Just like in the previous question, we take our percent and we turn it into a decimal. 0.25 of means times 180. And we punch this into our calculator. And we find out that 25% of 180 will be $45 in this case. So this is how much the, uh, the MP3 player is discounted or how much is taken off the price. So let's go ahead and take that off its price to find the sale price. The sale price is going to be this original price, $180, minus our discount. Okay. So we do that subtraction and we get $135. So this is the original price minus the discount. So this is the sale price. Now it doesn't end there because on top of the sale price we have to pay 13% harmonized sales tax or HST. So that gets added on to the sale price that we have. So we want to calculate the total price of the MP3 player including taxes. Well first off the amount of the tax is well, it's 13%, but what is it 13% of? Not the original price, but the sale price. So we want to figure out 13% of 135. And to do that, we change our percent to a decimal, we multiply, and we punch this into our calculator, and we get 1775. So that's how much tax is going to be on top of this, um, this the, the sale price. So what is the total amount that we are going to pay? Well, it's going to be our sale price plus our tax, because that tax gets added on. So our sale price was $135. We add on our $17.75 sales tax and we end up with $152.75. And that is going to be our total final price. So just put a box around it to indicate that we are done.